Hey guys, this is PeshMium.com and a couple of months back we made a video on this, the ROG Flow X13 2-in-1 convertible laptop. Now if you remember, this is a laptop that's pretty much good at everything. To give you an idea, here are the specs real quick. Well, first of all, the ROG Flow is super compact at just 1.3 kgs of weight and 15 millimeters of thickness. It has a convertible design with a 13.4 inch 16 is to 10 touch screen with 4K resolution, 116% sRGB, Gorilla Glass, etc. Now, it's powered by the 8 core Ryzen 9 5900HS processor with the NVIDIA GeForce 1650 Max Q GPU. There's also 16 GB of RAM, 1 TB of PCIe Gen 4 SSD. Now, these are all good specs, especially because the laptop's other basics are pretty solid too. However, there's one cool feature of the ROG Flow that we did not talk about back then because it wasn't launched in India, and a lot of you guys complained about that. Well, I'm talking about the fact that this is the only laptop that supports the powerful ROG XG Mobile eGPU. Well, you guys wanted us to talk about the XG Mobile eGPU, so here we are. This is the XG Mobile eGPU, and this turns the ROG Flow X13 from a decently powerful ultra portable laptop to a full blown gaming and performance laptop. Just look at the specs of this eGPU. So the XG Mobile has NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 laptop GPU clocked at 18 10 MHz at 150 watts with ROG Boost. The 16 GB of VDAM vapor chamber cooling system built right in and it uses ASUS's proprietary connector which has 8 PCIe lanes which means 63 GB per second of bandwidth and that eliminates one of the bottlenecks you get with the eGPUs that connect via the Thunderbolt 4 port. For people who don't know, the Thunderbolt 3 and 4 ports support 4 lanes and their peak bandwidth support is 40 GB per second. Now, apart from that, the XG Mobile is also a full-blown I.O. hub or dock. There are 4 USB-A ports, SD card reader, HDMI 2.0B and DisplayPort 1.4 for external displays and lastly, there's an Ethernet port. Now, all of this is powered by a 280W adapter that's built right into the XG Mobile. And this adapter can power both the XG Mobile and the ROG Flow. Now, this means when the XG Mobile is connected to the ROG Flow, the laptop isn't power, it's charging. So those are all the specs of the XG Mobile. And what's interesting is that this eGPU is actually fairly compact and fairly lightweight. It's 29 millimeters thick and it's around 1 kg in weight. And yeah, I mean, this is the eGPU in my hand. And this is something you can easily carry around, toss in a bag, you get the idea. Plus, I think it looks fairly cool, especially with the red LED that lights up when the GPU is in action. Now, coming to actually using this eGPU, first of all, do note that the XG Mobile adapter here requires the 16 ampere plug, similar to the flagship gaming laptops. Now, connecting the eGPU to ROG Flow is fairly simple. Just plug in the XG Mobile to the XGM interface of the ROG Flow, like this, by squeezing the two buttons on the side. Then, lock in the switch to make sure the eGPU does not accidentally disconnect. After this, you'll get a prompt on the screen asking if you want to connect to XG Mobile. And once you hit OK, it'll take a few seconds and you'll get a notification that the ROG Flow is now using the XG Mobile eGPU. Yes, the 1650 GPU in the laptop will go to sleep when this is connected. And to disconnect the XG Mobile, you just need to click on this icon in the system tray and yeah, it'll be disconnected. So with the XG Mobile, you get the RTX 3080 GPU combined with the Ryzen 9 and that brings a big difference in performance. I mean, the 3080 here is the laptop version of the GPU, so it's not as powerful as the desktop version, but it still brings the full power of the mobile GPU, like a lot of other laptops with 3080. And there's also 16 GB of VRAM, which is pretty good. Now, to give you an idea, here's the 3D Mark score of the ROG Flow without XG Mobile. And this is the 3D Mark score of the laptop with XG Mobile. See the difference? We are looking at a big performance boost and not just for gaming, but for other tasks as well. So yeah, if you ask me, I think the XG Mobile brings a lot of power to the ROG Flow. And yeah, as expected, it smoothens through all the AAA gaming titles out there. So I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is a fairly demanding game. And this is a game I did not even try with the 1650 GPU on the ROG Flow. But with the 3080 on board now, the game runs beautifully with good frame rates, even in ultra graphic settings. As you can see, there's no latency or lag. It's pretty good. I played Hitman 3 as well on Ultra Graphics, which if you remember from our original ROG Flow video, I did play without XG Mobile as well. But now with XG Mobile, the frame rates are way better on Ultra Graphics and yeah, it's a much better experience. Apart from this, I also played a few other games and most high-end games run smooth all thanks to this eGPU. As for any heating issues, well, the XG Mobile seems to have a pretty good thermal setup and you do get a bit of fan noise, but it's not crazy loud or anything, so no issues. 
Look, I focus majorly on games, but if you're wondering about things like 3D rendering or video editing, I think the XG Mobile with 3080 should make an even bigger difference. Also, one thing to note is that my experience with the XG Mobile has been exclusively through ROG Flow's display, but its performance is said to be even better when you connect it to an external monitor. See, overall, the point is the XG Mobile eGPU really transforms the performance of the ROG Flow X13 laptop. I mean, the ROG Flow X13 is already a capable laptop with specs like the Ryzen 9 chipset, but the NVIDIA 3080 laptop GPU makes a huge difference when it comes to gaming performance as well as other tasks. See, it turns the ROG Flow into a full-blown high-end gaming laptop without actually making any compromises. As for the pricing, the XG Mobile is available in an RTX 3070 version which costs Rs 69,990 and this is the RTX 3080 version that costs Rs 139,990. So to tell you the truth, this is not for everyone, especially because this is only compatible with the ROG Flow X13, which itself costs Rs 119,990. So the ROG Flow X13 plus the RTX 3080 XG Mobile will easily go north of 2 lakh rupees. So like I said, the XG Mobile is a niche device, but I personally look at it this way. I think the XG Mobile is a good start when it comes to simple, no compromise eGPUs. It shows the way and with ASUS planning to support this interface on more laptops in the future, I'm definitely excited to see more of the XG Mobile. Anyway, I want to know your opinion on the XG Mobile eGPU, so make sure to comment down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Let's be signing off. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.